Hey, what's up, guys? Boy James, man. All right, man. So we uh we got some uh major life decisions to make, man. And I've been thinking, 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 man. And uh try not to go quiet too many times in this video because I really thinking a lot. Um, so I go back through my pay stubs of what I've been, how I've been doing this year, right? Man, this is, this is real bad, guys. Um, great company. Great people to work for, great, great people, great dispatcher to do business with. Um, but the product we haul the most, which is John Deere, we just, they've been shutting down, man. They, they've they been shutting down, firing people, closing down plants. And then trying to run after, after the spot, spot market after that, being uh, a uh, dollar per mile. You know, we just got loads for offered for a dollar per month and uh as many people know it's sometimes better to sit rather than to run for a dollar per mile all right for for example you get a load that pays a dollar per mile it's going to pay you two thousand for like the load i had about two weeks ago two thousand to go sixteen hundred miles right now, after fuel, okay, so it's gonna pay sixteen hundred to go two thousand miles. Let's say you spend, um, let's say you spend, let's say three. Let's say you got nine, nine miles. No, let's say eight miles to the gallon because that's more realistic. Eight miles to the gallon, and let's say for. Let's just say you spend seven hundred dollars to go take that load, right? So let's say seven hundred dollars. Then you have truck payment, you have your fixed costs, right? Say for example, your fixed fixed costs are over 2000 insurance truck payment stuff like that that you're going to need to have in order to make any money you're going to have to make over two thousand dollars right so well it might cost you more because i've seen some people say that first cost with twenty six hundred dollars so you you got a load for two thousand pay sixteen hundred you 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 know what i mean and 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 you're still going to be in the hole six hundred dollars you know what i mean so it just, for example, it just wouldn't make sense to take, you You can't, that's why people shut down their companies because you're only running to not owe as much money on the truck payment, not owe as much money on your insurance, to not owe as much money on your tax and all that good stuff, right? So you're, all, you're just running, but you're not making any money. But let's say, now let's say you, you held off on that load and then you got a load to pay better later on in the week. And then you deliver that load on Friday, picked up another load Saturday morning. And now you make a little bit of profit, right? When if you would have took that load, you would have still been deep in the hole, owing money. And then if you took another one of them loads, you probably made a couple hundred dollars working 70 hours. 70 hours of driving, risking your life, dealing with everything that you deal with out here to make a couple hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Now that is insane. That is, why are you, what are you doing? You know what I mean? So I've hit quite a few of those weeks recently. And uh, I mean, I had good weeks too, but you know what I mean? Um, 
it just doesn't make it's not you know i've been going through it for a little over a year now not consistently but pretty much you know what i mean it's just been getting worse and worse and worse so what i came up with is i found a truck i think i'm gonna buy or i found a company that you know i could buy a truck through and uh So basically, I'm thinking about buying this truck, one of these trucks, right? And once I buy one of these trucks, I can, you know, I've already talked to Landstar, JB Hunt, Mercer, um, who else have I spoke with? Um, I've been looking at some oil field companies and uh, some local companies as well, but most of the money that you where you want to see is going to be over the road, right? So, I got a few companies that I've been speaking with and, uh, you know, I got approved for my truck and all that stuff. And, uh, so now I'm making the decision on leaving and, you know, going to pick up my truck and leasing on to one of these uh companies you know the major companies the goal whenever i got into this business was to go work for landstar right i now could go work for landstar like right now all i have to do is go get my hazmat you know what i mean um but i don't know bro i just hate switching jobs you know what i mean especially I mean, that's where I wanted to be. That was the goal of what I wanted to do, where I wanted to be when I started this. But, you know, so I've been doing a lot of research, man. A lot of Landstar research, a lot of JB Hunt research, a lot of Mercer research, watching all their YouTube videos. Um, CRST, I've been speaking with CRST. Uh, um... That's pretty much about it, man. Well, a few other companies, but the major companies that you guys might know. If anybody knows of any uh, great companies to lease on to as an owner operator, um, please let me know because I am about to go purchase my own truck, man. So, um, yeah, so that's that's happening. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just one of those because you know. JB Hunt has low boards. They have their own low boards. You're not necessarily running off of the spot market. Um, Landstar is the same situation. Uh, from speaking with JB Hunt, it sounds really good, everything that they're telling me. Um, you know, but I know they just did some major layoffs too. Um, but from what they're telling me, they're trying to they're trying to get as many owner operators in as they can at this point. Uh, and I've been watching videos and guys over there making 3000 a week, you know, consistently. He told me, he said the next last nine out of 10 weeks, he's made over 3000 a week, right? After everything, after all expenses take home, you know, dispatching yourself, meaning you don't have to call dispatch to get a load. You just book the load yourself and go wherever you want to go. You book the load and go, you book the load and go. And that's, I, that sounds really good to me. You know what I mean? to be able to not have to whenever have somebody telling me, well, when are you coming back from home? When are you coming back from home? Instead, they're telling me, you know what I mean? They're not telling me anything. I'm running the business. It's my truck. I take the truck where I want to. I do what I want to do to the truck. Um, but you know, um, I mean, expenses and all that good stuff, but you know, that's what you have escrow account for. And I may I put a lot of money in my maintenance account for this one. Um, but this is a great truck. I have had no issues with it, so I don't see, um, you know, what any issues would be. You know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, I should have quite a bit of money coming from that. Um, so, that's that's happening. You know, and then I also spoke to him about, you know, the companies I've been talking to. Like, look, man, I, um, I have a case that I'm fighting right now for hours of service violations. I tried to find my other phone today so I could record it because it was the greatest conversation. So my lawyer 
he has to go to court for me tomorrow, right? And um, so he he calls me this morning. It's the first time he's called me. So I'm like, yeah, we this, you know, okay, maybe he, he must be taking it serious or something. I text him, I'm like, hey man, we got a big court date tomorrow. You know what I mean? We need to make sure we're there and that you have everything you need to see, right? So he calls me, he's like, hey man, okay, so I just wanna go over everything, make sure we have everything together, right? I'm like, okay, fine. And he's, you know, I explained to him, these are the logs that he said wasn't there. These are the logs that he said wasn't there. These are the logs that said he wasn't there. That he said wasn't there. So he's like, well, I wonder what he was looking at. He was like, the other question would be, the court would say, well, maybe he went in there and changed it. I don't have the ability to change that. So I said, tell you what, this is what we can do. I uh, I said, I'll get my, my logs department on the phone and we'll do a three-way call, right? And he says, okay. So we get her on the phone and she's telling him everything I just told him. It's not, he didn't do anything wrong. I'm not sure what he was looking at. These are the logs. This is when he had a low. This is when he didn't have a low. I don't know what he was looking at. And I was thinking in my head, I was just saying the exact same thing. And then he's like, okay, well, if he's not, if they're not willing to throw it out, then they most likely what, he'll, what they'll do is if you pay court costs, they'll dismiss it. Are you willing to pay court costs? I said, I mean, if that's what I got to do to keep it off my record, then. But I'm thinking, I'm I'm the one that's innocent in all this, and you're telling me I still have to pay more money. Okay. That's what I got to do, man. So, actually, i also been speaking with some companies, you know, let them know what's going on there. Even last hour, they said, we are not concerned with hours of your hours of service. Our concerns are moving violations, accidents, and traffic tickets, and stuff like that. So I said, I have zero of any of those. I don't have any accidents. I don't have any moving violations. I don't have any traffic tickets. So they said, you're fine. You're good to go. You know what I mean? So just get that hazmat. So, so that's the other thing. You know what I mean? So. I got some companies there, man, they're, they're ready to go, man. They talking about, man, we want to get you an orientation right away. I'm like, what if I choose this company? I decide afterwards, I'll, you know what I mean? That's why That's what, why I've been thinking so hard is because I don't know. Because Landstar is where I always wanted to go. That was the goal of getting into this business was buying a truck and going to Landstar. But... I have to go get my hazmat before I can go to Landstar, which might push it back another week. It could just be another week, depending on me going to go get my hazmat. Um, so I don't know, man. Anybody know of it? Like I said, anybody know of any good owner oper com owner operated companies out there that are paying good? You know what I mean. And uh, preferably, I can dispatch myself. That's the goal. If I want, if I'm going to go somewhere else, I want to be at least where I could dispatch myself. You know what I mean. Not because I'm only going to find a dispatch like Ty probably, man, I don't think I have, I have yet to have one. You know what I mean? That's Ty has been the only one that I was like, yo, this dude is cool as fuck. Never had any issues with him, anything like that, right? So, I mean, you know what I mean? So, if I leave, then, I mean, well, I'm going to be dispatching myself. But anyway, yeah, so. Those are the decisions that we've been making. We've been thinking on for weeks now. I've been looking at trucks, um, applying. I mean, you know, just applying at different companies. And uh, this is where we are now, man. So right now where we are is decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, major decisions. And... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what the right move to make is. Um, I know that the next move that I make should put me in a position to where I'm making the money that I've wanted to make. You know what I mean? Maybe not five, six, seven, eight grand right away, but I'm at least making 2,500 plus a week. You know what I mean? Which is realistic with what I'm doing. So 
it's going to depend on me. And if it depends on me, I mean, what, I've had three weeks of home time in the last two years, you know, and uh, running every week. So if it's up to me and we, we, we got more options, like say if I went to J.B. Hunt, they got – JB Hunt runs most of the freight. You know what I mean? They got low boards. I, I, you know, see plenty of people saying that, you know, they're making good money over there as an owner operator or there at Landstar. You know, Landstar's, I've been here and it's a little rough lately, but, um, you know what I mean? But those guys are used to taking five, six grand plus home. So now they're taking 2,500 home and they're saying it's rough. You know what I mean? They're saying t taking two grand home and they're saying it's rough. You know what I mean? So I could, you know, that's a, that's a two grand plus is a rough I can deal with. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, man, we got a lot of decisions to make, guys. So. I don't know, but I will get to let y'all know who I'm working with because if you do want a good company and I'll put you on my dispatch that you're going to make uh, definitely over 1000 a week. I mean, 1500 you should be taking home 1500 a week. And uh, I'll definitely, you know, you know, shout them out once I leave, which is probably pretty shortly. So, all right, guys, man, y'all take it easy. Just want to get my truckers out there updated on what's going on and, uh, you know, Y'all wish wish my lawyer <laughs> luck in that court day tomorrow, man. Even though I really, I just found out it's not as big a deal as I thought it was. It's still a big deal to me because I was doing everything I should have been doing. You know what I mean? There's no way. You know what I mean? But what what isn't said says everything. You know what I mean? Sometimes silence speaks way louder than words could. You know what I mean? And it's just where were you at? You know what I mean? So. It sucks, bro. It sucks, but it's just the world, world we live in, man. It's the world we live in. Just because they have it on the badge doesn't mean they're going to be um, all good people. You know what I mean? And, and we see that every day, but we also see a lot of great cops, too. You know what I mean? So um, just keep it at that, man. Y'all take it easy, man. Have a good one, and uh, I'll talk to you guys shortly.